Welcome to Space Explorer. Up here, there's no gravity, so everything has to be bolted down tight. Oops, uh, there goes your food. Better catch it. Oh, wow! You ate your lunch already. Most people wait a while, but as I'm a computer, I don't eat food, so who am I to judge? Charting a course for the sun. I find jazz goes perfectly with the infinite expanse of space, don't you think? Did you know that the sun is a star? Every time you look up at night, the stars you're seeing are actually other suns in other solar systems. They only look smaller because they're really, really far away. But stars are quite large. Oh no! We're overheating! Quick, hit the boosters. The sun is 27 million degrees. Looks like we went so fast you lost your lunch. Here, let me clean that up for you. I'll let you control where we look up from here. Now we can see all the planets moving around the sun. The circle they make is called an orbit, and in fact, everyone on Earth is actually orbiting the sun right now at 67,000 miles per hour, though we don't even notice. At that speed, it takes the Earth 365 days to complete one revolution around the sun. That's what we call a year. Other planets move at different speeds, so a year on Mercury is only 88 days long. Let's go check it out. If you lived here, you'd be four times as old as you are on Earth. In Mercury years, that is. Click on the planet inspector in the top right to check out more. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, so all that solar heat really bakes it. How long do you think it takes to cook an egg on the surface of Mercury? Crack it open to see. Oops! Turns out that Mercury is so hot that biological matter would immediately burst into flame. Interestingly, because Mercury has no atmosphere, the sky is pure black. Charting a course for Venus. <laughs> Venus is a dangerous landscape of storms and volcanoes. But unlike our storms, Venus's clouds pour down raindrops of sulfuric acid, which can eat through metal. Plus, the atmosphere of Venus is so thick that any explorer without the proper equipment would be crushed instantly. It's worse, Venus is hotter than Mercury. All in all, not a very nice place to live. We built a storm machine so you can generate your own Venusian weather. Try it out. Charting a course for Luna. Ah, Earth's moon, or Luna as it's officially called, thought to have been created when a giant planet-sized object struck Earth billions of years ago. Our moon has been a constant companion. See how the Earth is rotating over there? A single rotation of a planet is equal to one day. While it takes only 24 hours for Earth to complete a rotation, every planet spins at a different rate. And in fact, some planets have days that are longer than years. Charting a course to Mars. <laughs> the most similar to Earth, Mars is humanity's best chance for colonization. Mars has plenty of water in the form of ice, and while it's very cold, the temperatures are much less extreme than on other planets. There's even some evidence that suggests life may once have existed on Mars. <laughs> Mars is red because so much of it is made of iron oxide, otherwise known as rust. In fact, you can see its color all the way from Earth. Next time you look up at night, see if you can notice the shining red dot in the sky. That curious-looking vehicle is the Mars Rover, Curiosity. 
Curiosity landed on Mars in 2012 and has been collecting data for NASA ever since. NASA designs their rovers with such care that they continue to vastly outlast their projected lifespans. Welcome to Mars. I'm Elon Musk, entrepreneur and founder of SpaceX, among many other things. I immigrated to the U.S. from South Africa, helped plan missions to Mars, and now, in the year 2050, I'm the Mars King. If you continue to study science, you could be the next great discoverer. Charting a course for the outer planets. Oh no! We're headed straight into the asteroid belt! Tappity challenge time! Tappity challenge time. Let's see what you've learned. Is the sun a star, a planet, or an asteroid? Drag your answer from over here into this bubble over here. Exactly! Every star you see at night is a sun somewhere in our galaxy. And we are just one of the countless galaxies in the universe. Let's talk about heat. Place the stars and planets in order, starting with the coolest to the hottest. Coolest up here and hottest down here. The sun, Earth, Venus. Great job! The sun can reach more than 15 million degrees Celsius. Ugh, ouch. What is it called when a planet goes around the sun one time? A day, a year, or an eclipse? That's right! A year is how long it takes a planet to orbit the sun, which is why years on, say, Venus are shorter than years on Earth. Solar system map! Place these planets in order, starting with the closest to the sun and moving to the furthest. Closest here, furthest here. Mars, Mercury, Venus. Great job! You're really working the system. Which of these is home to life? Earth, Venus, or Mars? You got it! Earth is the only planet that we know for sure contains life. You got it! I knew you would! Previously, on our tour of the solar system, you, our plucky explorer, were headed into an asteroid belt, unsure if you'd survive. What is an asteroid, you ask? Great question, explorer. Asteroids are all the leftover rocks in the solar system that didn't end up coming together to form planets and moons. And they float here in the asteroid belt. Now buckle up, because this could get bumpy. Well, this is easy. It looks like Hollywood was fudging the numbers a bit when it comes to how dangerous it is to fly through the asteroid belt. Space is a very big place, and on average, asteroids are actually about 50 miles apart. That said, the asteroid belt is about 100 million miles thick, so that's a lot of asteroids. I'll let you do the math on exactly how many. If I tried to calculate it, I'd surely run out of memory. Jupiter is more than twice the size of all the other planets combined, and it's made entirely of gas. Moreover, it's home to the Great Red Spot, a supermassive storm as wide as three Earths. What do you say we take a closer look? That's the sense of adventure that'll help us colonize the stars. Now, we'd better not fly much deeper toward the planet's core, because that would put us under a lot of pressure. To help you understand how much pressure, if you were to swim to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, so much pressure would be pushing down on you that it would feel like an elephant was standing on you. Then again, what's an elephant doing at the bottom of the ocean? By comparison, if we flew to the center of Jupiter, the pressure would be so great that it would feel like 40,000 elephants were standing on you. Fun fact, a group of elephants is called a parade of elephants. 
Let's boost out of here. Charting a course for Saturn. Saturn is surrounded by thousands of beautiful rings, which are made up of ice, rock, and dust. These particles orbiting the planet range from the size of grains of sand all the way to giant moons. In my opinion, it's truly one of the most majestic sights in the solar system. Uranus is the odd duck of the solar system. Scientists theorized that when the planet was forming, it was struck by multiple planet-sized objects that knocked it on its side, which is why it now rotates at such a strange angle. Its beautiful light blue color is due to a high quality of methane gas. But don't let the pretty colors fool you, explorer. Uranus reaches the lowest temperatures of any planet, all the way down to minus 357 degrees. Give its strange rotation a tilt with your finger. Charting a course for Neptune. We can't land on Neptune. But we can land on its giant moon, Triton. Triton's surface is covered with geysers that spew freezing cold nitrogen gas like volcanoes of ice. Neptune, over there, has the strongest winds in the solar system, reaching up to 1,300 miles per hour. That's six times stronger than the fastest hurricanes ever recorded on Earth. I guess the surface of Triton is as good a spot as any to see what you've learned. Ready for your challenge? I'll ask you a question, and you drag your answer into the empty spot. You get as many tries as you like. Let's start. Which is the only planet that definitely has life? Nice job. Which planet is most like Earth? Nice job. Which planet has the biggest storm? Nice job. Which one of these is a star? Nice job. Which is the closest planet to the sun? Nice job. Which is the sixth planet from the sun? Almost a perfect score, Explorer. Nice job. OK, looks like we are all ready to head home. There it is, our solar system. We're lucky to be here among so many exciting planets, but think, our solar system is just one of a hundred billion solar systems in the galaxy, and our galaxy is just one of a hundred billion galaxies in the universe. That's a lot of planets. Pretty amazing when you think about it. <laughs>